this young couple are going to be married. They've chosen their first house and have come to the council for a mortgage. This one transaction needs 25 different letters to be sent out. In the bad old days, it's a job that would have kept a typist busy for two and a half hours. Now, one girl with a word processor can send out all those letters in two minutes. No filing clerks, no rows of dusty old files, and a saving in this one department of £60,000 a year. I'd just ask you to sign here, please, would you? Texas Instruments call this their branch manager in a briefcase. Inside is a bubble memory in which you can store 80,000 characters or letters of the alphabet. But, and this is a fascinating bit, you can ring up the head office computer or word processor and then put the telephone into these rubber cups at the back. The machine will automatically transfer the text at high speed and receive any messages back. And that could put office typing very firmly into the home. F International is a multi-million pound computer systems house with more than 600 freelance operators. You won't find many of them here at the Chesham head office though because most of the people at the sharp end of the job work from home. Linda English works for F International as a computer programmer. She has a modern, well-equipped kitchen, two children, and a bubble memory terminal. The final act of writing a computer program is to send hundreds of lines of text to the computer you're programming. Linda can write and store the program she's working on at times most convenient to her, when the children are asleep or at school. When the job is done, the computer's only a phone call away. Linda is in the forefront of perhaps the biggest revolution for working mothers since the pill. The office and the home is rather like having your cake and eating it. Because the machines can natter away to each other by telephone, you won't have to write your letters of the future on paper, and you certainly won't have to post them. Already, exciting things are happening elsewhere in Europe in this field. 